Thank you, Jesus. We're about to go live, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just waiting for everything to come online. I see that Facebook is up and running. To you guys on Facebook, we're going to have a cracking show. And there I see YouTube is also up and running. Welcome, welcome. Um, it's Wednesday and it's time to go live. I'll see you on the other side. Let's get the countdown clock starting. 15, 14, 13, 10. I hope you're well. And let me know where you're watching. And send me a hi. And uh, we're going to have a great show today. First, a spectacular golf shot. Good morning, good morning world. It's me, Rory Alec. Whether you're in India, right across Asia, it's time to dust the sleep out the eyes and it's time to wake up and shine. Casting from the heart of Europe, it's me here in Austria. To you guys out there, a big God bless you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Time to celebrate! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That's right, Jesus is alive. He's on the throne. I have to be in orbit. And he loves you this morning. <laughs> the chickens are up. The rooster's crowing. It's time for... Good morning, world. Good morning, world. Me, Rory Alec. Great to be with you this morning, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a very big day on this Bless Me Wednesday. <laughs> Lovely to be with you. Thanks for having me in wherever you are, wherever you're watching, on whatever you're watching. It's lovely to be with you guys. A uh, little bit of digital content coming in the next few minutes. Uh, bicycles made of wood and lamps that use seawater and light up. I know, it's amazing stuff. We're going to have all of that on this Good Morning World. It's like kind of encouraging programming is my goal and hope, beloved, that I can bring that to our screens each and every weekday. And uh, I kind of have themes that I'm working toward as Good Morning World will begin to grow. And it's a busy week this week. I mean, for example, tonight we've got the next Vision Cast, the private hangout with me on Zoom. Uh, if you haven't sent me or registered to join that, you must join us. It would be lovely to have you guys join us tonight. Um, I got you guys saying good morning here. Look at this from San Diego, Linden. My kid, it must be midnight there in San Diego. What's it? No, it's five past 11 in the evening in San Diego. Welcome, Linden. Lovely to have you join us on this Bless Me Wednesday. It's Happy Monday. We've all heard that around. Um, although I'd love to say I coined that phrase. Uh, the fact checkers will bear me wrong, but I enjoy it. I like it. I think Monday needs to be a happy Monday because the beginning of a whole week ahead of us. And we normally go, oh, I hate Mondays. I like Mondays. If I get through Monday, it means I'm going to get to Tuesday. And if I get through Tuesday, I know I get to Wednesday. Then Thursday comes and I finally get, thank God, it's Friday. Serious Tuesday. Bless me Wednesday, which is today, the 23rd of June. <laughs> and yeah, good morning, Caroline. What does Caroline say? Hi, Rory. May God bless you in this Wednesday and his fever. I know it's favor. I'll receive the favor, not the fever, Caroline, but thank you. Be around you always. Hope you have been able to enjoy your swimming pool. Now, you, you guys are going to get me off the subject matter with all of your comments here. We have been enjoying the swimming pool. We've actually had a massive drama and a change with the swimming pool. And maybe on another day, Caroline, I'll share that with you. 
<laughs> all of you guys here on Good Morning World. Um, and so Breakthrough Thursday is coming tomorrow. And why I'm excited about this is because tomorrow I'm getting my hair cut. Since the lockdown lifted here in Austria, I've been waiting to get to the hairdresser. But guess what? Everyone who actually fixes pools have been super busy. They're busy all the way until August, part of the pool drama, which I yet to share. And everyone who cuts hair <laughs> got super booked up. So finally, I managed to get a hair appointment tomorrow. So I'll be getting my hair cut tomorrow. But I digress. It is Wednesday today. What is happening on this Wednesday? We're going to have a, a wonderful day of alternative technologies. A lamp that uses sea salt, water, seawater as fuel. And we travel all the way to Ghana and Africa this morning. And we discover sustainable bamboo bicycles and how they're made. And then don't forget, tonight is my Zoom vision cast. I do hope you're coming. Um, I'll show you on the show today how you can register. It's very simple. I need your email address so I can email you the link for tonight's vision cast. And also, your mind and your heart. This is an important one. Is your mind and your heart, I'm not talking about the physical beating heart, but the mind and the, the spiritual heart, are they in unity? Today on Good Morning, on Daily Grind, I share from the Daily Grind studio a little earlier on as to if those two are not in unity, you're not going to be a fulfilled and authentic, happy person. At least that's my opinion. So there's lots coming up on the program, and I'm excited. We'll also be celebrating your birthday today. I've got this, this chest here at the end of the month, the last Friday of this month, which must be rolling up rapidly. I, I hope it's next Friday. If it's this Friday, I've got to get organized. But in there are the names of everyone who's had a birthday this June. And uh, I'm going to be picking a winner on the birthday month of June. And somebody who's had their birthday is going to get a special gift from us, the Good Morning World community, which I'm looking forward to, uh, to sharing, to sending out. Um, so lots to come up. Why don't we kick off this program and get started? In fact, good morning, world. Let's get on with birthdays right away. Karan Asatrian. Oh, Lord bless you, Karan. He is an amazing Armenian musician here in Austria. Very famous here. And I've actually had the pleasure of filming some of his concerts and working with him. Fantastic. Karan, I hope you actually have a fabulous birthday on this 23rd of June. And then also today, Judah Robe, happy birthday. Victoria K, happy birthday, Victoria. Uh, Heidi Schroeder McKinnon, happy birthday, Heidi. Bill, it is Wednesday today. It's your birthday, Bill Bolin. And on this 23rd, I hope you're going to be blessed by your friends and your family. David Food, happy birthday, David Food. Ron Lively, happy birthday, Lively Food are having birthdays, both misters. Uh, Vance Hardesty, happy birthday, dear Vance. And Dylan Gabriel Robert. Dylan, good morning on this Wednesday, the 23rd. Dylan is the young man who has traveled with my son Christian into places that every father would wish their sons would never travel to. Went into Baghdad, into the heart of all those challenges, also into Syria. Did an amazing video journalism there. Dylan, thank you for keeping my boy safe and hanging out with him. And I know you and Christian work together uh, through some very difficult circumstances. Dylan, I pray you have a wonderful day today with your family, your wife, your loved ones. Finishing up, we've not finished. We've got covered Shazad. And then Rachel, you're just my challenge this morning. Rachel Nishani Arumayangam. Rachel, that's a tongue twister for my tongue. Uh, the Lord bless you all. I hope you have a fabulous birthday on this Wednesday, the 23rd of June. So what is coming up on this morning's program? Bicycles made of plants. Is it possible? I'm intrigued by these. In fact, I'm thinking of actually getting one for Good Morning World and then using it as a sort of a promotion because I'm fascinated about using sustainable materials uh, that are easily to replace um, and sustainable. And especially when they're made out of bamboo. I want to introduce you to uh, Bernice Dapa in Ghana and her vision, which is just stirring up the planet, not just in Ghana, they're providing bicycles that are helping so many people, but they're actually now beginning to sell them into the rest of the world. I think you're going to enjoy this. This is Bernice. Uh, this is Bernice. <laughs> We 
harvesting bamboo for production and we have all the components when you look at the seed tube all the sizes that we want we can get it from the bamboo When I was in the college, I decided to see how best I can do something after school, especially looking, using our local raw materials to do. They are doing a nice, nice design, like custom-made bikes. They write fancy names, very attractive names. We're creating employment for them. So we're so happy about the social impact that the bamboo bike is making. The idea of we even going back, donating bicycles for kids that walk mass from their homes through the bamboo bike production is really amazing. The initial stages was a bit difficult though because the prototype wasn't successfully but later we tried on day in and day out as we know business there is always risks but with perseverance you can go far good morning 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 and my thanks to the A&J News Network there. They do so many news updates, and that was a wonderful one there on Bernice Starpa. And check it out because it's fascinating. We'll, we'll talk more a little bit about these bicycles from Bamboo a little later on the program. But tonight is, today is Wednesday, 23rd of June. I'm doing a vision cast tonight. Yep, a Zoom meeting. I would love to send you a link. For me to do that, I need you to register on the website and send me your email. So how do I do that, Rory Alec? It's very simple. Um, there is the homepage, RoryAlec.tv, which is down here. That is the web address. I mean, the email address. I mean, the website address. It's Wednesday morning. I'm still waking up here. I need another cup of coffee at 10 minutes past, quarter past eight in the morning. By the way, I just want to say to my wife, I love you, darling. I know you're watching as you walk to work. And I just want to say, Ich liebe dich. My wonderful girl is walking to work. She does that every morning now <laughs> while I am going live here and hanging out with you guys and girls around the world. San Diego, by the way, Lyndon Price was watching early on. I'm, I'm impressed that he was up or she was up. Lyndon, are you a he or she? Nowadays, one has to be very careful whether you ascribe he or she to a name. Don't get me started on that one. I'm talking about vision. And down here is the web address, RoryAlec.tv. And over there is the homepage. So when you, when you go to the web address, you'll see that on the homepage. Just scroll down. And if you wouldn't mind giving me your first name at least uh, and your email address. Um, and then I will then email you later on today the link for tonight's Zoom vision casts. Wednesday, today, 7 p.m. tonight, which is around 10.30 India time, uh, which is around midnight. Well, anyway, you can figure out your time, right? And I look forward to sharing vision. I'm going to take about 45 minutes to share a vision. Thank you, Lyndon, for correcting me there. I appreciate it. He says, I am a he. Well, he or she... It's lovely. Lyndon, thank you. San Diego, you should be sleeping right now or you are, or you are a late night person there. I'm going to end up having a conversation on Bless Me Wednesday with San Diego. I love it. I love it. One day I'm going to be in a position where I, because I'm waiting for my, I digress. Anyway, you guys know how to get your, your email address and they go to the website, log in, register, Data Protection Act and all of these dynamics. And then when I have your email address, I can then send you the link for the Zoom vision call. Ah, man, I'm excited. It's going to be a great evening. I'm going to spend about 45 minutes sharing vision, then we're going to have questions and answers. 
talking about the vision of Good Morning World. It's starting as a little mustard seed here in the heart of Europe, but I have vision. As many of you know me from God TV days, um, that is the gift and calling on my life. I have the gift of faith, and I have to be careful what I put my mind and my heart to. I have to make sure that it's not just a good idea, but ideally, if it can be a God idea, that's the best. Uh, Good Morning World is not a ministry per se, although I hope it ministers to you and brings encouragement to you, and that whenever you're feeling like, hey, what's positive and what's good in our world today, I hope that on Good Morning World we can capture little pieces of that good and uh, that you get encouraged. And not only that, that you and I are challenged by what we see others do, and we ourselves go out with the right spirit, with His love, and do good works that bless multitudes. So I kind of wrapped the vision up right there. Uh, If you want to join me, I will show you tonight how you can become part of our crowdfunding and help more be not only me, myself, I, but I'm believing for two or three people that I can pay full time who can join me on the Good Morning World production team and research programs and find out all these things. So I can have a lot more live interviews, a lot of more interactions. It all takes a lot of time and I need to redeem time because Rory Alec only gets 24 hours a day. No, no, I do. Sleep. <laughs> I am sleeping for six to eight hours a day, but um, but otherwise I'm pretty much working. I'm putting in 14-hour days, easily 14-hour days. What else on this program? Well, we're talking about exciting things that encourage. Imagine you could take a lamp and for 40 days you can have it bring light to you by just simply putting in not even a liter of seawater, salty seawater. This is something that I found yesterday, and I you maybe you've seen this already, but I wanted to share it with you because I got super encouraged when I saw this. Ah, need to go. Good morning, morning, morning. This is Waterlight, a device that provides electrical power using only salt water. Together with Adina, a company that develops renewable energy products, we created this device that produces energy from ionization, a process where an electrolyte made up of salt water sparks a reaction. This transforms the magnesium on the inside into electrical energy. It's assembled with 100% recyclable and resistant materials and is capable of providing up to 45 days of electricity with just half a liter of seawater. The design of Waterlight is inspired by the Colombian Wayu community and their traditional art that represents the fauna, flora, and the sea. Ya con esa lámpara podemos hacer muchas cosas que en el día tal vez no te no completamos. Pero que no fue nada, Gary. Es que dijime que esto es esto cubrir, caja rata, esto cubrir. Me ayudaría mucho en las tareas de mi niña. Entonces en la noche me pongo con ellas, la enseño y todo. Y pues nuestra vida ya cambió. Una empresa de energía renovable lanzó Waterlight, un dispositivo capaz de extraer energía. Y una energía que le puede eh, durar a ellos por unos 45 días con su This is not only for Colombian communities. Waterlight looks like a global solution that could help millions of people. Waterlight can be purchased by governments, NGOs, and private organizations online and helps millions of people around the world with no access to energy but with the benefit of a coastline. Waterlight, the clean energy revolution, is here. Good morning, world. The reason why we use bamboo to manufacture bicycles is it's found abundant in Ghana and this is not a material we're going to import. It's a new innovation, there wasn't existing bamboo by builders in our country, so we were the first people trying to see how best we can utilize the abundant bamboo in Ghana. I 
love the idea of reusing bamboo to promote sustainable cycling. People want to go green, low carbon, lean energy efficient. I tell you, it's wonderful. I get excited. It blesses me. <laughs> this is how I get blessed. I, my mind starts to spin and think, wow. Actually, in the future, I have a vision that we will purchase some of these bicycles as a Good Morning World community, and then we will actually gift them to villages where they need bicycles, and that way help. And um, my mind spins because I think, wow, you know, in the Good Morning World shop when we launch the shop this is all coming up in the months and years ahead dear viewer when we launch the good morning world shop we could actually sell good morning world bicycles we can come into partnership with them and where every, every time we buy a bicycle for ourselves i mean what a novelty there's no one bicycle that is the same as the other they're all unique because it's made from organic material think about it it's also good for your health mr alec yes i know Gertrude and Alfred are both waiting in the garage for me to start using them every day. Who's Gertrude and Alfred? You say, those are our bicycles. <laughs> anyway, there's so many things going on here. If you haven't watched Good Morning World enough, uh, you need to watch some of the other Good Morning Worlds because then all of what I'm saying will start to make sense. But I am excited. It does bless me on this Wednesday morning, the 23rd of June, when I see how people um, are making these wonderful, innovative... And think about it. One bamboo plant tidies up and, and secures six square meters of soil, if I got that correct. I mean, it's wonderful. It is good. It's a win, 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 win. And the other people who are winning, well, let's celebrate some cities right now. Actually, I was hoping to see Africa on this list. Maybe you are in 2021. This is the, uh, the, the Koya Bicycle Cities Index of 2019. Top eight cities with the highest score in the Bicycle Cities Index of 2019. Holland, you're at the top, of course. The city of Utrecht, followed by Germany and Munster. And then Antwerp, Belgium. Uh, Copenhagen, come on, Denmark, I like it. And then Holland, back in with Amsterdam. Amsterdam, I thought you were the, 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 the king of bicycle cities. But anyway, they're in fifth place is Amsterdam. Two for Holland. Sweden, Malmo. Come on, Malmo, I like it. And then all the way to the other side of the world, China, Hanzhou. And finishing up in Switzerland, Bern. It's fabulous. All of these guys and girls riding their bicycles in to health and good things. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm, I'm live with you. It's coming up to 20-something past the hour. And um, I want to share something that happened on Daily Grind this morning. It's just, I'm going to very superficially, please note the word superficial, because it's a big subject. But the question is, is your head connected to your heart? Because in my opinion, when our heads and our hearts are not connected, that's where a lot of conflict in ourselves is. Now, of course, there's many more of the dynamics 
what is the state of your heart. And I'm not talking about your physical heart, although there's some very interesting scientific facts that are coming out that the same cells you find in your brain, they're now finding in your heart, calling it the second brain. I know, mind-bending, right? I tell you, we're learning so much. We're like kids in the candy shop when it comes to new science, cutting edge and studying biology and creation and how God has created such an extraordinary universe. Big subject, big subject. But let's stick with the head and the heart. On Daily Grind this morning, I was just sharing some of my thoughts with my patrons and I felt I'd like to share it with you. As I said, very superficial. It's just my sharing with, with them and I'd like to share it with you. There's a huge crash of, of conflict when your brain doesn't connect with your heart. When what I say with my mouth and comes from my intellect, my thinking process, is not what I really truly believe. I might think I believe it, but I don't own it. It's not me. I don't really believe it. There is a huge uncomfortable conflict which brings about frustration. It brings about an anger. It brings about a fear. Um, the happiest people on planet Earth are those who what they believe in their intellect, their brains, what comes out their mouth is what they believe in their hearts. Immediately there is no conflict there. There is a unity, there is a, an agreement. This is a holistic person, this is a healthy person. They don't have to justify anything, they don't have to, and I'm not talking about people that necessarily believe in God even, but they are authentic. What they believe here, they believe here. What is in their hearts is what comes out their mouths from their intellectual dynamic. It's married, it's one, it's unified. These are happy people. I didn't say they were saved people. Now you can be, this is a challenge for Christians and this is one of the challenges I have wrestled with and to a degree still wrestle with. I have a lot of information in my head. I have a lot of dynamics that I understand intellectually, but they're in conflict with my heart. And as a born again Christian, there are dynamics where I know that what comes out my mouth and what I'm dealing with intellectually is not aligning with what I believe in my heart, my spirit, or the other way around. I hope this makes sense on this Bless Me Wednesday. If I am declaring my faith by intellect, if I am sprouting scripture, if I am um, praying and, and <laughs> preaching and all of these dynamics, but I'm not living it in my personal life in all areas. In other words, there's not an alignment between the intellect and what comes out the mouth and the heart. There is a conflict. There's a, con a, a, a conviction comes from the Spirit because the, whole, the Holy Spirit wants to fix that up in your and my life, for sure. He wants that, that unity to be correct between the Word and between the Spirit. It's got to be in unity. The Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost are in perfect unity, always have been. And we who are created in the image of God, spirit, soul, body, have to be in unity, spirit, soul, and body. So these are things that I think tie in perfectly with Psalms 27 verse 14. Perfectly. Um, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Because it's only when I'm waiting on the Lord, when I'm focusing on Him, when I'm sitting before Him, when I have my full attention intellectually, emotionally, my spirit man, my heart is engaged with Him, that He begins to help me and deal with me and work with me. And it's on His timetable, by the way. It's not on mine. There are many things that bother me that I am going through in my life that I know I need to be dealt with. It has to be and this is no one else's business and it's it's not something that you go oh my god what, what what are you talking about Rory? it's not like that and and even if you begin to think like that i encourage you change that thought process understand what I, the context of what i'm trying to share here is that we all go through dynamics where we have to get our belief systems our intellect aligned with our hearts i think 
you know where I'm going with this. And I just think this is a very beautiful thing. I am in a season right now where I'm waiting upon the Lord. Even though I'm very busy and I'm, I'm bringing forth a vision now, good morning world, I'm waiting on the Lord. I must finish this program. Um, this grind has turned into a me talking with you as opposed to me talking with him. <laughs> This is my daily grind. So this is where I come before the Lord, I stand at the grind as I'm praying in the Holy Ghost. These things come to my mind. And with it can come some conviction from Him too. And I know this is where I'm at. So I share that with you on this Bless Me Wednesday. By the way, be careful. Because also when there's an inconsistency between our minds and our hearts, that is where the enemy brings a accusation. He brings a condemnation to you and I. And um, that's where we have to fling ourselves onto Jesus. We have to put Christ Jesus on, knowing that we put on His perfection over our imperfection. And I know it's like a bit of a... But the more that you and I dwell in Him and wait on the Lord and move into Him, empty ourselves of ourselves. And I'm not talking about your personality and your uniqueness. God loves all of that. But I'm talking about our belief systems, our hard attitudes, our habits, our what makes us make the choices that we make. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to love and leave you, and I know you've got to get on with your day. I bless you, and I look forward to seeing you on the Vision Cast later on today. And um, otherwise, I'll be back at the Grinder tomorrow for another daily grind. Lots of love from me. Bye bye. Vision. Yes, I am doing a Vision Zoom meeting on the 23rd. I am hosting a Vision evening. I'm doing a private Vision cast. All I need is for you to email me if you don't mind. Wednesday, 23rd of June, 7 p.m. UK time, which is around 10.30 India time in the evening. If you'd like to hear more about the Vision, Good Morning World is growing quickly. Uh, I can't do it all by myself as you begin to see. You guys on the East Coast of America, of course, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All the way in South America, wherever you are, try and figure out and join me live. It's always better live on the Vision Meet. Good morning, world. Needs more help. I need more help. I need a redeemed time. And so if you're enjoying the show and you want to know more about it, and hey, Rory, how can I help you? Because every one of you can help in one way or another. I would love to share that with you. Sorry, Australia, New Zealand. You guys are going to have to catch the recorded version, which I will send you. All you have to do is go to my www.roryalec.tv down here and register register your email address and i will email you the link to the vision cast on the 23rd of june roryalec.tv i will send you the link by email to your email address we're going to be talking more about where is good morning world going to what could it really become looking forward to hanging out with you Good morning, world. It's Wednesday. We're live. And if we're not live, it's lovely to be with you anyway, morning, noon or night. The 23rd of June. I look forward to hanging out with you guys later on today. If you can join me live, live on the Zoom Vision cast, it would be wonderful. Uh, thanks for my uh, to my contributors who've given me such encouragement on this Wednesday. Bamboo bicycles and lamps that work on sea salt. Uh, salt water. It is this wonderful stuff. I hope you've been encouraged. Um, I got to get to work. I know you do as well. And so, um, until tomorrow, lots of love. I look forward to hanging out with you again. Same time, same place from me. Have a great day. Love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little bell notification at the bottom. Every time we post something, you'll be getting it. To all my patrons, thank you so much for your support, guys. Without you, I 
Until tomorrow morning. Lots of love. Keep smiling. Keep shining. From me, Rory Alec. Welcome home. Get up. Get up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Good morning, morning.